Hi, I'm Greg Clark. I'm a Rainbow International Technician and today I'm installing floor injection drying in a property in London. We're using floor injection drying to stop unnecessary strip out works to the concrete floor where the moisture is trapped down at the DPC and bottom of the installation layer. Here we're using the aerial pressure drying system. This can be used in either over or under pressure drying. And today we're using over pressure drying. At the top we have the SD2 sound absorber that dramatically decreases the noise of the machine. We've got the VP6 turbine that is pulling the moisture out of the concrete slab. We've got the HF2 HEPA filler which is purifying the air. Then at the bottom we have the VT2 water separator. This is the DPK boost bar. This is pushing heat down into the concrete slab for its new adapter which is a 50mm adapter it works perfectly with the aerial system. Being able to control the heat is perfect so we don't overheat the turbine. But with this, we are dramatically decreasing the drying times. In order to be able to drill all the holes that are needed in the concrete slab, we use a thermo imaging camera. Here you can see it's highlighted the underfloor heating. The underfloor heating will not dry this concrete slab as it is trapped between the insulation and the uh, DPC. By drilling the holes, it does us allow us to release the moisture and using the forced air system dramatically decreases the drying times. In this image you can see a hole that we have drilled and at the bottom is the water that we are trying to get out. Without this process, the water has no way of getting out even with the underfloor heating turned on. Being able to utilise this type of equipment to be able to do the push and pull method has allowed us to dramatically decrease the drying times, allowing the customer to get back on with their renovation works and get back into the house as quick as possible. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube.